Good morning from Ho Chi Minh City. Today I'm gonna go out and explore and I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my first impressions of this city. So without further ado, let us go. First I'm on my way over to this restaurant. I cannot pronounce it and I'm so bad at pronouncing Vietnamese words but my friend Gary recommended this restaurant for me and he did a whole entire food trip here in Vietnam and because I'm so bad with food you guys gotta check out Gary's video on his top recommended restaurants to eat here in Ho Chi Minh City but I am super excited to go because it is already 2 oh my gosh it's 2 p.m. and I haven't ate all day one of the things that you may or may not know already from Ho Chi Minh City is that Ho Chi Minh City is also called Saigon so it was actually called Saigon first and then Ho Chi Minh City and I didn't know that so if you didn't know that don't worry to put simply that after the war President Ho Chi Minh actually changed the name to Saigon to represent unification and now the name Saigon is just in the past but some people still refer Ho Chi Minh City to Saigon so you could alter both of them someone was asking me if I was going to Saigon at first I was like no I'm going to Ho Chi Minh and he was like no Saigon is Ho Chi Minh so it's okay if you didn't know at all because I I had a dumb <laughs> dumb moment I think in general in Southeast Asia there are just crazy crazy drivers <laughs> everywhere well, I'm serious, the drivers here in Ho Chi Minh City are literally the craziest that I've come across. But the thing is, there seems to be no driving rules, but here everyone seems to know what they're doing. And everyone here seems to know how to drive. Like, I thought drivers in New York City were crazy, but no, here the drivers are really insane. I was on a motorbike the other day, and I remember we were just crossing a lot a lot of traffic and the bike was like inches away from the motorbikes coming from the opposite direction but everyone just knew and they just honk at each other instead of putting signals on it's like they're honking means i'm coming your way it's crazy but there's really really controlled driving here also note that if you're planning on crossing the street while you're walking that no one's gonna really actually stop for you so you have to kind of walk as if you're driving too and also on the sidewalks sometimes the bikes will come drive on the sidewalks too there actually have been some sidewalks I've come across where there's like holes in the middle where it prevents motorcyclists from coming through but some of some of the streets I've noticed that some people came in like biked across told me to not walk while on your phone because there's gonna be times where people on bikes just come and snatch your phone away luckily and fingers crossed I mean it hasn't happened to me yet but sometimes I'm pretty weary hey I'm good how are you oh no I'm okay no no I'm okay thank you though thank you come on oh. Oh, this guy asked, or I think he's still wondering if I want to do a half hour ride around the city, but I'm okay, yeah. I'm okay, it's okay. Thank you so much. Come on. <laughs> um, yeah, so what was I saying? Yeah, so just basically don't hold your phone while you're walking. Just put it in your bag, keep it away, and you'll go back home or wherever you are with a phone. Okay. In front of me. And I made it to the other side safely. The one thing that I absolutely love about Ho Chi Minh City that's really good for expats is that a lot, a lot, a lot of people here know how to speak English. And so far in Southeast Asia, I've gone to Thailand, Cambodia, and now Vietnam is my third country. And I will say that 
more locals here have known English than any country that I've gone to here so far. Not only do people know how to speak English pretty well over here, but the people here are also so, so freaking nice. Like, okay, yes, in all of Southeast Asia so far, everyone has been so kind, but here I think the local people have stood up to me to be even more kind. Honestly, like, there's been so many times where people have wanted to just help me out. The first day when I actually got over to Ho Chi Minh City, I had not a good experience trying to find my hotel and I'm on a record of not finding good hotels to have my reservation, but the manager at my hotel, Mary, she was so kind to me and basically what happened was I booked a hotel under the same name or the same company advertising, third party, whatever. And they were down the street. And she told me to go over to them and ask them if they got my reservation or not. And if they don't have any space, that I could stay at her place no problem and they'll figure out the payments later. And when I went over to the initial original hotel that I had booked, they told me that they never got my reservation. So I came back to her and I told her I'm so sorry, but they told me they don't have my reservation. I need a place to stay and all that night. And she was just so nice to me. She opened up one of her rooms for me and she told me that if I need anything else to let her know. But uh, guys, Maryland 2 Hotel located right next to Buvin Walking Street. You guys gotta be there. Not only is the staff so incredibly friendly, but it's also right next to everything. It's within District 1. And if you like to party, if you'd like to go out, if you like convenience, this hotel is where you want to be. So the one thing I find really cool about Ho Chi Minh City is that in the mornings, if you're going out for a walk, you will find groups of people just sitting down and just drinking coffee together. And I think it's really cool because you'll find them in groups of like five to 10 people and they're just, sitting down as if like they didn't go home from the night before but I find it super cool and how they're all kind of sitting outside just drinking their coffee relaxing before they go off to work look how small these seatings are <laughs> I just made my way over to Lin Night Coffee I came across this randomly with someone I met here and I just absolutely fell in love with the vibes out here People are here just chilling, just drinking their coffee, and their coffee here was really good. I got myself a Vietnamese iced coffee with milk, and I'm about to go read my book. I've been going the wrong way, so I'm backtracking just a little bit, not too much, but this is what happens when you're traveling with a directionally challenged person. Even though I'm backtracking, it's okay because Ho Chi Minh City is actually not that big. Or the main attractions, it's not as big as I actually thought it was going to be. If you're like me and if you love walking, because I actually really love walking, you could pretty much walk from one part to the other part of Ho Chi Minh City in 10 to 25 or 30 minutes and yes 30 minutes might sound like a long time but if you're here out to explore and want to get to know the city i recommend that you take the time to walk around it's totally manageable you can definitely do it but if not actually taxes here are really really cheap if you download the grab app or the gojek app taxis are so cheap actually i think the cheapest taxi prices that I've come across in Southeast Asia, Southeast Asia yet. And whether or not you want to go on taxis or not, I prefer motorbikes and motorbikes here are so cheap. Yesterday I went from, where did I go? I went from middle of downtown all the way over to this park and it was around 2.5 to 3 kilometers, which was about 20 minutes during rush hour. And I only, I only paid 21 dong which is crazy because that's equivalent to 86 cents around less than a dollar it was so cheap and my way back it cost me 35 dong which is a little over a dollar but still it was just so mind-blowing to me and i thought something was wrong with my phone but no those are the real prices so if you're planning on taking taxis or motorbikes anywhere they're really really cheap <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, so I got over to this restaurant and I'm not gonna lie, I actually came here yesterday. It's so good that I had to come back again. But again, thank you Gary for recommending this spot because it's really like a more, more than 10 out of 10. And it's not as busy as it was today because yesterday it was so packed that I couldn't even get a table. There are grab drivers picking up food here. Like yesterday, I think there were at least 20 delivery guys in there trying to pick up food. If you guys are in Ho Chi Minh City, you guys have to come to this restaurant. I literally cannot pronounce this. Bon Thi Nuong. But they got grilled pork and rice noodles and this crispy spring roll thing. And ugh, I'm telling you, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go order. We order over here. I just got my bowl and my drink, and this cost me 31 dong, which is... Hmm, that's good. This was 2 dong. Like, hello. <laughs> Crazy. But the bowl was 29 dong, the iced tea was 2 dong, and that's 31 dong, which is a dollar and some change. Which is still crazy to me because this is so good. So, so good. So what you actually do is you take this. I don't know what the sauce is called, but you put it on like this. And you put however much you want on your plate. And then you want to get your veggies. And place however much that you want to eat. Of course, I gotta add in my like, me. So the other thing about here in Vietnam is that their food is so healthy. I feel a lot healthier eating here and all of the dishes that I've gone, they gave me so many greens. I mean, like, look, this is literally a basket of greens. Let me take my first bite of the day. Oh. Guys, seriously, I'm rating this more than a 10 out of 10. This is so, so good. You have to come here. I could probably eat this every single day. <laughs> so good. I just finished that. Oh, so good. I am incredibly full, but I could honestly come here again and again. The other thing that I did want to point out is that I noticed that a lot of the local, really local Vietnamese restaurants that there aren't a lot of foreigners. Every time I have been going to these local restaurants, I've noticed that I've been the only foreigner there. And honestly, all of the foreigners that I've seen, they're all on Yuvin Walking Street. I'm sure people come here and there all the time, but that was one thing that was pretty interesting that kind of stuck out to me because in all the other restaurants that I've gone to, local restaurants in other countries I've been to in Southeast Asia so far, there have been more foreigners, at least one other besides me there. So, another interesting thing, but it might also be because entering into Vietnam only loosened up two weeks ago and they got rid of their mandatory negative PCR test, so that might be a reason why, but that was just my observation. So I mean, maybe in a month, there will be a lot more people traveling into Vietnam. But the one thing that did shock me about coming here to Ho Chi Minh City is that in the most friendliest way, the men here are very direct. And direct in the way where they'll come and ask me for my number. And that is really, really, really direct. The other day when I actually came to this restaurant, I was by myself. The workers didn't really know how to speak English. And so, they sat me next to this guy who was also alone and he helped me order my food which is very very nice and very kind of him but after I ate I left the restaurant and we didn't really talk while we were eating because uh, we didn't really understand each other but he came after me out of the restaurant and asked for my number if he could text me later and I just told him no I'm sorry. In the other countries that I've gone to here in Southeast Asia the men haven't been so direct with me so this is one thing that surprised me. They're not dangerous, not harmful, they're actually some of the friendliest freaking people but I think just because I am alone as a girl not just a girl, but an Asian girl. I think that's what happened. I'm on my way right now to actually go try egg coffee for the first time. 
somebody that I met here told me to go try egg coffee and I was like I would never even think about mixing egg and coffee together but it's a thing here in Vietnam it was tucked in this little alleyway I just made my way over to Little Hanoi Egg it was tucked in a little alleyway so it was a little confusing on trying to find this spot but looks like a little cute quaint coffee shop opening I just got my egg coffee super excited to try this but because there was no space for me here at the coffee shop I was put at this table which is a good thing because right in front of me there's a history of the egg coffee and egg coffee was founded by a Vietnamese barista working in a French restaurant and before the war in 1975 when Vietnam was separated from the north and the south milk was too expensive to buy and because of the crazy Americans in Vietnam there was a lot of milk so the barista actually mixed in the egg yolk with sugar and black coffee and thought that the taste was amazing and delicious hence created the egg coffee and now with locals and tourists alike it is still popular in Vietnam today so if you're here in Ho Chi Minh City come to Little Hanoi Egg Egg? Egg Coffee <laughs> and try out this coffee oh my gosh i'm like moving the coffee around and still moving <laughs> look it's not moving <laughs> so my first sip Oh my gosh. Wow. It's so good. I taste the sugar. Sugar first, actually, and I forgot that it was coffee, but I taste coffee afterwards. Mm. Super thick. Really, really good. The taste is like perfect. It kind of reminds me of Dalgona coffee from Korea. I'm pretty sure they mix it very similarly. I think I'm going to try to find the recipe and learn how to make it at home. It's really, really good. That was a lot of traffic to get over here. So now I just got over to the Ben Thon Market. This is a market full of clothes, local foods, a lot of things that you can buy. And I am going to show you guys someone super special that I've met in Vietnam. Okay, and also what I do like about this market is that it's kind of in the center of the town and really, again, you can find a lot of things. Although a lot of people do stop you and they ask you to buy things, which I'm not entirely opposed to because this is how they make their money. Today, I'm gonna go get a smoothie. A smoothie. Because I'm basic. You <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I should just hold this up and then see who stops me. <laughs> no, but I don't know. <laughs> it was like an entire family all being like, hey, let's see pizza. Done! Hi! This is a special person to watch. I'm back. Bad, remember? You remember? Yes. Grace. Yes. Grace. Right. It was hard for him to say my name at first. I'm sorry. No, no, it's okay, it's okay. How are you? I'm fine. I came to get one more smoothie. Yes. Because the smoothie was so good. Yeah, so good with the avocado. And avocado. salsa. Salsa. And strawberry. Strawberry. You know salsa? No. Just salsa local food with the meat. Very nice. I've never tried it. You try it? I've never. Oh, say, try already. I did? Yeah. Oh, last time. Yeah. Okay. And uh, you try to hear Sabolila. Okay. Sabolila could hear a sweet like one. That. Okay. Whatever you think is good, I'll try. Come on. Come on. He also was the one who taught me all my Vietnamese words. Yes. So Come on. Come on. Yeah, perfect. Come on. Yeah, sing come on. Sing come on. Yeah. The one thing here about Vietnam is that the street food is so, so cheap. Compared to Thailand and Cambodia, I think the street food here is actually the cheapest. On average, I want to say the street food here from all the noodles, all the pho, everything has really cost me no more than 30 dong a bowl. 
I'm making my way over to the Vin Market? Vin Con Market? Is that what I wrote? <laughs> and compared to other cities I've been to in Southeast Asia, Vietnam is the only place where the drivers will give you a helmet. So if you're here, your safety is important to the country of Vietnam. So I just got over to Ben Khan Street and I'm waiting for someone I just met over at the Ben Khan Market. Jack is his name. So we took separate motorbikes to come here. So right now I'm waiting for him and maybe he got lost or something. I don't know. Let's see if I can find him. Alrighty guys, I found him. Everyone, this is Jack. We met at the Ben Khan Market at Duan's Smoothie and Food Stand and he agreed to come to Vin Khan food street with me. This is both of our first times here and we're just kind of walking through. We just looked up, we're walking over to Sushi Co. Japanese food here in Vietnam. Let's see how good the sushi is here. I haven't had sushi since I was back in the States. What about you? Yeah, I haven't had sushi in ages actually. Ages? Yeah, well, yeah. It's a long time. Oh, I remember the last time. <laughs> they had sushi? Okay. okay, Jack, you're up first. You're gonna tell me if, if the hype is is worth it all. Uh, is it this? Yeah. This mine? Yeah. <laughs> How is it? Let's go. He's nodding his head. It's good. Let's okay. Go. So he got some salmon dish. I got salmon also. That's actually really nice. Yeah? yeah. Okay. So definitely it's up to the hype. Come on. Okay. I'm going to try sushi and see what the hype is all about. Mm. <laughs> it's good. Good. Yeah, the, the fish is really soft. It's really soft. It's really good. It's really good, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you rate it? <laughs> what do I rate it? Yeah. A 7.5 out of 10. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> yeah. We made our way over to the Wen Hu walking street, and this is our last stop for the day before Jack leaves. He has to leave in about two and a half hours. Okay. He's going up to Dalit, which I will probably be going eventually on my road trip here in Vietnam. But overall, these are my first impressions of Ho Chi Minh City and I hope this helps you plan your trip better if you are visiting Ho Chi Minh City or you're planning on it. So... <laughs> I got so distracted from Jack. <laughs> okay, but anyways, so without further ado guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and my first impressions here in Ho Chi Minh City. And I will see you guys up in Hanoi. Safe and happy travels, y'all. Bye! Bye. Say bye to the game! Yeah. <laughs> see you! Alright, man.